Hello dear students, uh, welcome to this session. So in today's lecture, we are going to discuss the definition of limit point of a sequence. First of all, this is a very important definition in a real analysis in sequence of uh, real numbers. So let us discuss about the what is a limit point of a sequence. So, so first of all, we have to take uh, some sequence. Uh, let us say sequence a n. We have sequence of real number. Okay. What is sequence first of all? Sequence is a function. From set of natural number to any kind of set. So, if I am defining a function f from set of natural number to uh, x, then this is a sequence having elements from x. Okay. So, it depends on x now. So, if I am defining a function f from n to real number, then it is a sequence of real number. If it is a function from n to q, then it will, it will be a sequence of or rational. And if I am defining from n to n, it will be sequence of natural number again sequence of integers, sequence of whole numbers. So it depends on its codomain. Depends on its codomain. You can also define a sequence from n to c. That is a sequence of complex numbers. Okay. So sequence is first of all a function having its domain fixed. That is set of natural number. Right. Domain is set of natural number and its codomain. Its codomain it may be a real number, it may be rational number, it may be irrational number also, it may be whole number, it may be natural, it may be complex. This is my a definition of sequence. Okay. So in the sequence, okay. So in the sequence, let us define first of all the definition of limit point. Definition of Limit point. Before that, what is neighborhood? Let us discuss about the neighborhood of a point. Okay, so if you have some particular point, let us say alpha. Okay, you have a particular point alpha, and you have to say that any set yes, which is a neighborhood of alpha, yes is a neighborhood of alpha, when it will be a neighborhood. If there is some interval i, if there is some open interval i, which is a subset of this set, and that interval contains alpha. Okay, if I am able to find some interval i, which is a subset of that yes, and that i contains i i contains what alpha that member alpha. Alpha should be a member of that interval i. And I is a subset of yes. Yes is contained, yes contains I, I contains alpha. And I is contained in yes. I is contained in yes. Then and only then I can say that yes will be neighborhood of that point alpha. So clearly I is a subset of yes and alpha belongs to I. This implies that alpha belongs to yes. So yes is if. If any number, I am saying that let us take beta. If beta does not belongs to x, then x will never be a neighborhood of that point. Clear? Basically, uh, what is neighborhood? Neighborhood is just a points which are neighbor from that points. Uh, okay, are close to that points. Okay, so it depends on us now how many distance between that point and uh, that set. Okay, so. If you are taking, let us say, close 0, 1 and point 1, alpha is equal to 1. Can I say that this yes is a neighborhood of that point? No. Because if i is a subset of yes, if i is a subset of yes and alpha belongs to i, if i is a subset of yes and alpha belongs to i, so but you can say, is it a neighborhood? Is it a neighborhood? We need, we need an open interval, right? So, alpha minus i. Okay, so alpha minus epsilon to alpha plus epsilon. That is same as 1 minus alpha to 1 plus alpha. This will be never be a subset of close 0, 1. This will be never a subset of close 0, 1 for any epsilon greater than 0. So, this implies that. Yes is not neighborhood of alpha. Why? Because there does not exist any kind of interval i, open interval i. 
it does not exist in your open interval i which is a subset of yes and which contains my point alpha that is 1 okay so this is the definition of neighborhood of a point now we are uh, going to define the our actual definition that is a limit point of a sequence okay so the point is limit point of a sequence so for that we must have to define first of all some sequence so let an be a sequence and we are working in real analysis so it is a sequence of real numbers it in the sequence of real number what it means it means that the codomain okay so function a is some kind of function here yeah, from natural number to real number it is a some kind of function from natural number to real number so let a be a sequence of a real number and l belongs to real number so first of all yes l must be a point of that set l must be a point of that set r okay so l is a limit l belongs to r then L is said to be limit point. L is said to be limit point of. L is said to be limit point of sequence A n. L is said to be limit point of that sequence A n. If, if so, whatever condition we have um, right now, if this hold, then that point L will be a limit point of that sequence. Okay, what is that condition? If for every epsilon greater than zero or every epsilon greater than zero, okay, what you will want to take? You can take epsilon, delta, zeta, okay. For every epsilon greater than zero, a n belongs to l minus epsilon to l plus epsilon. For infinitely many, for infinitely many, yeah. Okay. So if this condition is hold, then you can say that that point L will be a limit point of your sequence. This is not a limit of a sequence. There is difference. Okay. Limit point of a sequence and limit of a sequence. These two are different kind of definition, different concepts also. Okay. One implies other, but converse is not true. Okay. Every limit of a sequence is always a limit point of a sequence. But converse need not be true. We will see that example also in this uh, session. So, a n belongs to l minus epsilon to l plus epsilon for infinitely many n for any epsilon. So, you give me epsilon, I will check the that, that that interval l minus epsilon to l plus epsilon, and I will also check how many a n are in that set. So, if I am going to count that n, it should be infinite. It is not a finite. Okay, since uh, it is itself uh, from the natural number, so it is countable in finite set, so it will never be uncountable set, but yes, it is always infinite, not finite. So, if I am saying that a n belongs to l minus epsilon to l plus epsilon, if I am saying that l belongs to a minus epsilon to a plus epsilon, for infinitely many, for finitely many n, for finitely many n, then that point L is not your limit point. Okay, and this is true. This is true for any epsilon. This statement should be true for any epsilon. But it should be a greater than zero. Okay, so you cannot take epsilon is equal to zero or epsilon is less than zero. But if I am taking epsilon is equal to zero, it will be meaningless, right? So L minus epsilon to L plus epsilon that is same as minus L to sorry. L to L, not minus L to L. It is L to L, and that's open interval. So it should be. It is itself open interval. Okay. So there is no any possibility that 
uh, any open interval contains infinite unit terms of the sequence not possible it is not possible so that in fact if you are taking that epsilon is less than zero then again it will be a uh, that point that set will be some different kind of set it will not be a neighborhood of here it will not be a neighborhood of here in fact you you are seeing that let us take epsilon is equals to minus one Okay, and what it it will be? It is L plus one to L minus one. Okay, L plus one. So there is your L. So L plus one and L minus one. But this is not an interval. This is again empty set. This is again empty set. So it is also not interval. So there you are. Epsilon should be positive, and for any epsilon greater than zero, this definition must be hold. Okay. So if you are taking epsilon is equal to one half, then L minus one half to L plus one half contains infinite limit terms. Epsilon is equal to one by three. L minus one by three to L plus one by three contains infinite limit terms, and so on. For any epsilon, there it is rational, irrational doesn't matter. Okay. Let's take example, very simple example. A n is equal to minus one to the power n. So it depends on n whether it is plus or or minus one. So if I am starting from n is equals to one, it will be same as it will be same as minus one, one minus one, one minus one, one and so on. Okay. So a n is equals to I can say minus one when n is odd and one when n is even. So whatever I am going to take the point. Okay. So यहाँ पे मैं कुछ भी ले लो। Okay, so now let us see. A n belongs to one minus epsilon to one plus epsilon for infinitely many n. For infinitely many n. So what are that n? Since your one is a n. When my n is even, one is a my when my n is even, and how many even natural numbers are there? There are infinitely many natural numbers. So a n belongs to this term for every in, na, even natural number. So a n belongs to this interval for infinitely many natural number, and therefore you can say that one is limit point of that set. Similarly, a n belongs to minus one plus epsilon minus one minus epsilon two minus one plus epsilon. For infinitely many natural number, and therefore I can say that yes, this your point one and minus one will be your limit point of that sequence A n. But if you are going to define the limit of a sequence, then this sequence is not convergent, and one and minus one both are not a limit of a sequence. Okay, so this is the basic uh, definition for a limit of a limit point of a sequence. I hope. Uh, you are now able to uh, find the example uh, limit points of any kind of sequences that you have there is a very big relation between that complementary subsequences and limit point of a sequence so yes uh, thank you so much guys and have learned